Welcome back. Today we're flying out the French Jaguar, and I know that has been ripping on a lot of French planes lately. And sadly, we're gonna do the same thing today. Although this plane is, in my opinion, kind of enjoyable as long as you don't get up to the 10.7, which is the main footage I want to show you today because, well, it just does not perform up to par. People will simply outrun you without much issue. You don't turn very well, and if you start turning, you dump a lot of speed. If anything, this thing is a discount F1. Or a T2, whatever you want to call it. It only has two missiles, but it has the magics, which are some of the best missiles in the game. Which is why this thing is 10.0. This is probably a 9.7 plane, if we're looking at the current matchmaker. I think all of the things should move up. But looking at other things like the MiG-19s, the MiG-21s, uh, the early ones of course. This thing would fit in quite nicely at 9.7. Unfortunately, well fortunately it has magics. Unfortunately so, it's going to put you on the wrong side of the matchmaker. Because if you are at 10.0... A lot of your games will be 10.7. And those games are going to be a struggle fest. I got two games for you. First one is a little bit of how I normally play it. Kind of staying on the sidelines. Kind of poking in and out. Seeing who can magic. Because the magics are your main tool here. The guns are pretty unwieldy. You got the, the defas. They're on the bottom of your plane. Which makes it even worse. I wouldn't say the, the impossible or bad guns per se. But they're definitely some of the most unwieldy guns at top tier together with the 23mm. Luckily you do have 150 rounds per gun which is plenty. But I also want to make sure that if I get an angle I will hold that trigger down until the enemy dies. Because these guns while they're 30 mils, while they mostly do pretty nice damage. Sometimes you just get hits and 9 out of 10 times you're not going to get a second shot. I especially like to focus phantoms. And right now you're going to be facing the F4Fs a lot. Which makes this a lot easier. You're on the US side a lot of the time. And with those teams you can play like a support fighter. If you get on that German team. The German and Russian team. And you face a full team of phantoms. You're just going to lose. Almost every game. And that's just how it is. I've lost most games against the F4Es. The F4Fs and the FGRs are completely fine. Because they don't have the AIM-9Js. They don't have these insta-kill missiles. And they have flares. So they can kind of stick around. Be more aggressive. Survive some missiles from the friendlies, especially the R60s that are on your team. And this just all plays in the favor of the Phantoms. They have this really good team dynamic where they can be really aggressive, turn in, spray with the Vulcan, lob AIM-9Js, shoot AIM-7s in the head-on. And your team just do, does not have that utility at all. So being able to support Phantoms and magic and people that are a little bit slow, that's great. You can come in, you can pick off people that are slow, people that are pushed slow by the Phantoms. And this thing is just a true support fighter. It's not a very good plane, but as a support it's pretty decent. It has a, it's at 10.0, keep that in mind. I'm not talking about full down tiers right here because this thing gets an air spawn. The problem is if you face American Phantoms, they're gonna have Sparrows. And if you climb to altitude, you are going to get aim 7. You're not going to dodge it. In down tiers however, you can just rush past the entire enemy team. And shoot your magics at people. And it's great. Shooting magics at a saber is a war crime. But it's a war crime I kind of enjoy. But I don't think that's much to gain from that kind of footage. I'd rather show you something that's kind of hard to do. Well hard to do is a big word. Because I'm just lobbing magics at people. And I shoot a magic at this F4 EJ. And look at the way he's flaring. He's bobbing left and right. Very slowly. He's dropping flares in groups. Excellent dodge. He RTBs and he gets strafed by a teammate. And this is the second game I want to show you. A little bit more interesting, a little bit more things going on. It's a little bit of a clusterfuck, really. But you can tell that I'm coming in from the side here. Despite having the air spawn, I do not want to be the first one in. And why is that, you ask? If you get anyone on your six in this thing, you are mostly going to die. You can maybe reverse one of them, but don't count on it. Because the moment you go a little bit slower than normal, uh, you just die. You eat a missile and you're not going to touch it. Want to get these magics off? Just get two quick kills. Try to get a third one in right there. Missed it. No big deal. But we're just going to keep going. I want to make sure that this guy doesn't go for me. So I kind of pull into him beforehand. He doesn't stick with me. And now I'm going to be accelerating away. And at this point I'm kind of like. Well I already used both my magics. Maybe it's a good idea to simply RTB. Because the magic make or break this plane. I want to have those things on my pylons. But I also need to get kills. And right now everyone is kind of. Just flying away from me. Everyone is kind of just leaving me alone. And then the FOC comes back. So now I don't have a choice. I'm not going to run to the air for the airfield camp. I don't want to do that. But I want these magics back. And if he breaks off that would be great. 
he gets missiled, perfect. But now it has an F1 there, and I just really don't like landing, so I, my indecisiveness just turns me back into the match. And I'm gonna go for this A7. He also has the two A9Js, possibly gun ports, and he might kill a lot of tanks as we leave him alive. So I want to kill this guy right here. Afterwards, turns out he was simply bombing. So, I mean, that's a bit of a waste. But it doesn't matter, the A7 has to die sooner or later. He's not very fast, he's a very big target. And I take his wing off and kill his pilot. Now we have three kills. And there's an F3 on my six. And there's an F1 in front of me. So I'm gonna turn again towards the airfield. Turn the afterburners off. And I simply push ahead on with the missile. Because then it loses. Heat signature. And it missed. If I had simply done a very gradual turn. I think it would have hit me. Especially with the burners on. Because it would not have lost my heat signature. And I'm not dodging it. I was way too slow for that. Luckily he now has someone on the six. I'm going to be pulling in, so he can't get a rear aspect on me. Because if I get a Phantom on my 6, it's just, it's just going to not end very well. I'm going to try to stay below him. I'm going to try to get the shot here. He's going to go way too steep. And he extends away to the other side. He gets crit, or gets hit. I don't know what happened. He gets a little bit of an oil leak going on. And right now, I just want to kind of pressure him. I think, ah, oh, he's not going to catch me. And then he turns at the exact same time as I do. And this could have ended very badly. If this FRE had simply focused me down Without the help of my teammate here The MiG-21 saves my butt here I would have been in a very bad position Right now I'm not very fast But he's just far enough away For me to dodge this missile And as you can tell He doesn't have engines anymore He's on fire And we are simply going to outrun everything He lobs at us Which is perfect Because right now I can RTB and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I only have 5 minutes of fuel left. And this thing guzzles fuel. I'm running 20 minutes. Because with 30 this thing is just completely unwieldy. And I, I just wouldn't recommend it. Most of the time with 30 minutes you're going to explode from a missile. Before you get to use the extra fuel that you have. So why bring it all together. I want to land after shooting the magic solve regardless. So having a little bit less fuel isn't much of a problem to me. I hate landing. But I hate dying 2 minutes into the game even more. So right now... We're cruising to the airfield. And I can see there's a dot coming in. And I can't really contest it. So I'm just going to cruise with my, without my afterburner there. I'm going to do one loop. And then try to land from the other side of the runway. And see if I can do it. If I then get strafed, so be it. But I don't want to land right in front of this guy. Because that would be a complete waste of my game. I don't recommend to camp. And I didn't want to get near the airfield to, to kill this, one of these guys. It's simply just how it played out. I just want to land right here and take back off as fast as I can because they are all landing as well. And the longer I wait, well, the more of a chance I'm going to get that I'm going to get strafed on takeoff and I have to leave. And I don't like leaving games. So we're just going to see what's happening here. I'm going to do a loop. Make sure that I don't get an Avenger on me or a blind hunt because I want to land right here. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to do one more loop after this. I'm going to do one pass. But now I see the dot coming in. So I have to I have to go evasive. So I'm going to dip into this little hill over here. Or this little defilade. A very nicely textured hill over here. That's completely just... Oh, I don't have to tell you about that one. FRE, I'm staying below the trees here. So he can't shoot me. I pull up over him. I want to kill this guy as fast as I can. So I shoot a little bit. Brrrt. And I get a hit. Very cool. He gets hit by AA as well. I think that 30 mil should have blown him up regardless. But I don't have the fuel to push this guy. And I'm just going to hope that that hits. And now I'm going to pretend to break off. He comes back in. Big mistake. I pull back instantly. And he's basically falling out of the air. I think I damaged something of the tangents. But he dies here. And now we are going to go for a very quick landing. No, it wasn't actually this quick in the actual game. But we're going to make a very, very quick landing here. Because I want to take back over. I want to get away from the airfield. Because I don't want to kill people with AA. It's a very scummy tactic. And I simply like getting kills. I don't like the game playing it for me. But we landed. Nice little parachute. Wait the timer out. If only it was this quick in real life. We take back off. And there's a dot. F1. And I'm not... I'm barely off the ground here. And he has a Vulcan... He has four A9Ps. 
which are not very fun to deal with. And I'm gonna warn you in advance. I'm not showing you to show you how good I am or how good this plane is. I should have died like six times from here on out. Just, just keep that in mind. There's no one here. The F1 is flying away from me. I just need to chase him. I need to chase this guy. I wanted to magic him. And now I'm in a very slow speed head-on jousting match with an F1. And I'm not winning that. He has a Vulcan. He turns better than me, as you can clearly tell. And it's especially at Vulcan that's a problem here. And I have to dodge him again here because I'm just, I just don't have the shot. And he's pulling into me very easily. I have to dodge a second FRE. The F1, however, is dumping a hell of a lot of speed. So I have to dodge this pass here, which is kind of sketch. Just managed to do so. He doesn't have the speed to pull up right now. So I have to complete this loop by killing this guy and then going straight up. Going straight up and top tier is not something I advise you to do. Luckily he doesn't have the shot here. And I'm actually so close that the AIM-9Ps that he maybe wants to fire don't want to pull in. Because AIM-9Ps fly a little bit straight just like the AIM-9Js before they start tracking. And we're just close enough to the point where they can pull lead into me and the wheels just shoot on behind me. I'm just flat turning this guy. He's losing a lot of speed. He seems to be damaged by AA. I'm not sure what the damage is. I'm not sure if I won this because of the AA or not. But that's not what this video is about. I'm just telling you how hopeless this plane is. Because even with the damage he has sustained. I am very much struggling to kill this guy. But he's power sliding quite hard here. So I'm going to try to pull him up even more now. And by pulling him up even more he will stall out. And he will slowly drift into a tree perfect now there's one guy left make sure that i don't drift into a tree myself and now i don't want to land i don't want to go back to the airfield for obvious reasons because what's going to happen is i'm going to get strafed and i don't want to go near the airfield get accused of airfield camping i guess it kind of looked like it but that's also why i'm just trying to fly away from it now and i'm i possibly threw this match by not going to the airfield because i should have died to the last the last guy that's coming in in a second here who is going to be in a phantom and the phantom just absolutely rolls you over especially in the 1v1 but i have two magics so maybe i can do something here pre bomb the missile make sure that i can try to shoot him as he flies away he pulls so tight but i threw everything into that one maneuver because i can't really do anything else and right now because he stuck that maneuver i have a positional advantage and i can get the shot here which is perfect Shoot him here, but I just do not have enough lead. And then he does the one thing he shouldn't have done. He pulls back into me, so I cut my afterburners. I drop my throttle a little bit, drop the flaps. Pulls in my guns, and I shoot his wing off. And that's going to be GG. And that's all I have for you today. The Jaguar, a pretty sad spectacle, I have to tell you. But I like shooting magics at people. So I kind of enjoy this thing, despite it not being the best. Hope you all enjoyed it. Feels good to be back, to be honest. And I'm going to be making a lot of videos in the upcoming week here, or maybe two weeks. Because I want to be pumping out some footage before the new patch rolls in. Because then it's all going to be old and I don't want it to pile up. I'd rather keep getting new ones. So expect some more videos in the upcoming week. I'm going to start recording the second one right now for tomorrow. So I don't forget. See you all tomorrow. And have a nice Wednesday.